nitpicks. And Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Nitpicks. And Alan, I seen that. So this is actually the end of the podcast. Uh, the podcast was over two hours long. We talked about all six episodes. And, and we Chubbs. Deci- and Chubbs. Can't forget about Chubbs. Uh, we decided that we're going to, instead of putting out a two-hour episode, we're just going to put out like six 20-minute episodes or something like that of each well, individual. The one, on... <laughs> well, some, one of them will be like 40 minutes and one of them will be like two minutes. That's but, yeah. true. Yeah. But we're, we're, I'm going to split them all up. And so this will be one of those six episodes. It'll be the first one, obviously. You're not going to have this intro being like episode four. No, I'm just going to reuse this intro for all. Oh, okay. But, but I'm going to leave that part in the intro as well. Okay. Hang, Hang the, the DJ. DJ. I Hang the DJ comes in, and for me, it's the third best Black Mirror episode. Wow, that's... It might even be the second best. I need to rewatch it. I see that's my issue with it was the ending of it ruined the rest of it. Not at all, sir. It that's did. where you're wrong, sir. <laughs> that's where you're wrong, sir. No, it is That's it, where you're wrong. It was the equivalent of it was all just a dream. And so I was like, No, all it wasn't. The, no, it, it was, wasn't, sir. Yes. No, it wasn't, sir. All that's right. where you're wrong, sir. Tell me how I'm wrong. Because it's it's not a dream. No, it's a simulation. It's even worse than yeah. a dream. But what does the simulation do? It's in their phone. What's the purpose of the simulation? To tell them that they're compatible with each other. Yeah. So what's about to happen after this episode ends? In anything. What's about to happen? Anything what could happen. They... Yeah, but what do you think is implied that is going to happen? Well, again, it's implied. It's not It's not a part of the yeah, show. What... But what do you think is implied? That she's going to look at him, look at her phone, look at him, and turn around and walk out. Why would you assume that? Did you see her face when she looked at him and was like so disappointed when she realized that they matched so much? There was, yeah, she made a face. Did you see, (laughs) it's a similar face to how she did in the simulation when she first saw him. And I, I, the thing is, is like people that you really connect with and vibe with are not people that you're instantly attracted to on first look. But, but what is implied? by the overall romantic nature of the episode Uh is that those two people are going to then chat and the exact same thing that we've just watched is going to happen but in real life well not the exact same thing not the exact same thing but they are going to like you know be charmed by each other see i found what was fascinating and they are going to be soulmates was the world that they were in where the all the computers were dictating how long yeah. they were together, but all the, that I stuff. Just, I just want to really hammer in this point okay. um, before we move on, which is it. it's not like everything they did was for nothing in any shape or form because that simulation has contributed to a real relationship that will really happen, which I believe will really happen because if the people in the simulation are exact like versions of them, then obviously they are compatible and obviously they, they were able to be, you know, have this deeply connected relationship. So the idea is that from what we're told that this app like always is, is pretty much a hundred percent accurate. Like it's very close to always finding someone's perfect match, like perfect, perfect match. And we see the process of that and we see how that would work. And then we see the real life and we see them connecting their first look. They don't need to show any more after that because it's pretty obvious that like they're just going to do the same jokes and the same like kind of awkward introduction. But like the ending makes it better. The ending makes it work oh, more. Now it ruins I, it. No, I'll tell, I'll tell you why. I'll right. tell you why. I'll tell you why, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. 15 Million Merits is an exceptional episode, but it's got the problem of being incredibly surreal and being very 
being like a huge metaphor and um, not massively relatable. Now, Hang the DJ is almost exactly the same as it's very surreal and is highly like a, a huge metaphor, except they then make it make sense and make it relatable in our world with one simple move at the end. And that's pretty genius, I think, because if, if, you know, they, they've just run a thousand simulations of everyone in that room <laughs> or everyone on that app, like in the whole world. And like they've instantly found someone's perfect, like soulmate, but it's not like an easy process. Like you have to go through a lot. And what like makes the simulation figure out is someone that you're willing to like, you know, like damage yourself for someone that you're willing to like actually risk, like being isolated. Like you're really willing to make a sacrifice to be with that person. And then that's how it determines your perfect match, which is beautiful. Yes. But while you're wrong is because the whole show, the conflict is them being separated, them being forced to be apart, them knowing how long they have together. And then you find out none of that matters. None of that stuff, the, the guards chasing them around, the timelines of them being forced, them having their pairing days the next day and, you know, spending their last little bit of time together, all that stuff. All that conflict was nothing. The only thing that mattered no, was their, was their relationship, their, their interaction, the rest of the stuff, the, the investment into the conflict and why is this happening and what's going to happen was completely washed away when you realize, Oh, it's just an app. It was just but a like, simulation. How, but how do you, how do you know if someone's your perfect match? You have to go through all of that, those things. You have to go through conflict before you realize you're really like truly right for someone. You can't just like meet someone once, be like, Oh, we get on really well. And then it'd be like simulation over. Like that, that wouldn't no, be a very good simulation. I agree. Like in order I, for a truly <laughs> like good simulation to work and be effective in finding your match, it has to take you through conflict. Um, yeah. and it has to take you through that separation and that idea of stress and that idea of like, you know, heartbreak. And it does, it hits all those beats. Um, and we have to believe it's real because we are in the mindset of these characters. And if we know it's a simulation from the very beginning, we're not going to empathize with these characters. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that it's all pointless because they don't know it's a simulation until the end. But then, it's a bittersweet thing because yeah, they're about to like stop existing and they were, they weren't real humans, but they've contributed to a real human relationship that will spawn from that struggle. Well, I would have liked after knowing that it was a simulation, I wish they would have split it half and half. I wish they would have done everything in the first half of the episode, reveal that it's a simulation, them get together in real life and struggle with why why does it say that we're perfect together when we don't like each other or we, like when this is so difficult or, you know, like have them have a, a separate conflict, have you root for them in the simulation and them, you know, reject each other in real life and then, you know, potentially get together at the end or not get together. Like it, it oh, just, but you see, if they did that, they wouldn't be able to do <laughs> such a clever commentary on relationships in general because by, by, by being in a simulation, they're able to take the concept of love and the concept of relationships mm -hmm. um, and exaggerate them to their very core basics and really deliver like relatable themes and ideas about love and about relationships um, in a highly surreal environment, um, which you just couldn't do in the real world. And yeah, but... The, the world was and if, the most. If they, if they immediately went into this out of the simulation and uh. had everything else in the conflict, it would just be a regular, normal relationship, love, like show. And that would be much more boring. It's the fact that everything that we have in our society about relationships mm. is just enforced in a very, in a very like kind of like surreal way. Where, you know, when you're dating someone, you, 
especially if you're young, you know for sure it's going to have a cutoff point, but you're just not directly told what that cutoff point is. But being told exactly when that cutoff point is, is like so, so scary and dark, but then also kind of like, it's kind of nice in a weird way to mm. know exactly when it's going to end. So you yeah. can be like, oh, okay, I'm going to be with this person for two years. And I thought that was it. a great, a great thing in the story. I thought, I thought it was done really well. I thought the, the world they created was so interesting, but I was so frustrated to find out like, that's just a simulation. It's not, there's no, there's no reason to explain any of this or how you get to a place where you're allowing Siri to dictate your relationships and all this different stuff. Like, I think there was just, I don't know. To me, it really felt like it was all just a dream type of reveal at the end. Like it, it, it just fell so flat. Like I, I would never rewatch this episode because the, the investment I think of you should. I, <laughs> The investment of watching it. I think you'll realize, you'll realize that it's, it's, it's not that bad because it's like, it, it's like, if this was a real world, a real mm. surreal world, it's still cool and it's still like interesting. Um, like 15 million merits is, but the fact that you are aware that they're inside a dating app means that like all the little, all the little details and all the things that Siri or whatever makes them do. Uh. Um, has a lot more like meaning to it. See, I think it has less. Like, no, it has more because you don't <laughs> know, you don't know like exactly what's going on. Uh -huh. You don't know if it's all going to be a trick. You don't know like what the dark connotations are. You don't, you don't know anything. You have to just sort of, you sort of half trust that that it's genuine and that it is trying to find their perfect match, but like that it could be more than that. But when you know for sure that they're inside an app and everyone else is just clones of other people in this bar or registered with the app, I don't know which one it is. The idea of you having a perfect match, no matter where you go kind of loses that vibe. But so I don't think it's that. I think it's everyone on the app. Um, I think is, I, I thought it was, it was individual for them. Their, it was their simulation. It was to see how they would do if they had these other relationships and if they had these other experiences. Would they? No, still no. End up everyone's together? everyone's in the same sim. Well, I think I, everyone's sharing the simulation. Maybe I I don't know. Yeah, that would make sense to me. That makes sense to me because it's like because it's it. Well, like the thing is, is because everyone is it has the consciousness mm -hmm. of themselves. It wouldn't really matter if it's a shared one or if it's an individual one because the same thing would happen. Yeah. So I think, I think they are copies of those people, but it, they're put inside the world because it's running a simulation on these two people. Do you but know what like, I'm saying? The, the beautiful thing about it as well is the idea of like, you can run a simulation a thousand times and like do different parameters where you're like, forced to be with someone for a different amount of time or you're forced with other people before you meet that person but like but like 900 and 998 times out of a thousand you will always try and run away with that one person is quite beautiful well i if it were me i think what i would have done with this concept would have been to tell three stories of them together ah, in the simulation boo. intercut together and reveal that because it would look like a time jump um be you know going could do. going from you know someone them just meeting to them being happy to them hating each other and having all this different stuff happening and then you find out oh no these are all different simulations this isn't this isn't one but then story that, this then is three then that would imply that like that like in different circumstances, like someone isn't your perfect match. Well, because they, they failed 12 times. No, they failed, they failed eight times. They failed like twice out of a thousand. I think it was, it's 99.8. I thought it was 98.2 or something like that. 98 something. No, no, it's 99.8. So two times out of a thousand and like, you know, you can't, it can't be a hundred percent. 
No, I know. That's what I'm saying. So you show the it's story. It's going to have two fails in there. But like, I think they, those are just like bad simulations. Like, I don't, I think the idea of what they're trying to say is not that like, oh, if you met someone in a different circumstances, you wouldn't be with them. I think the idea they're trying to stress with this is that like someone that you are compatible with and someone that you will get on with and be close with and like be happy with. No matter what the circumstances, that person was made for you and you were made for them. And again, it's just, it's, it's so beautiful and wholesome, but it has a, it has a cynical message to it as well in there with the whole idea of, of like deconstructing relationships as well and putting timers on them and enforcing them and, um, and also the idea of, well, actually, like, maybe I'm just so worn down by relationships that, like, I'm just going to convince myself that this person's the one just because it's just easier. And th that level of commentary is in there, too. So it's not just soppy, like, love story. It's, like, actually got, like, a lot of interesting societal comments on it. And then also, like, the idea of, like, dating apps as well is in there, too, because, like, in this future, where if that was like the only way that you could find love, would that really be a good thing? I don't know. I would definitely get the app, like if it existed. Yeah, I'd be afraid my wife would find someone else. Ah. <laughs> well, then you should be happy for her. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, you got a higher percentage of that guy. I guess we got a. It was a good yeah, run. If you really love her, you'll want her to be happy, with, <laughs> no matter who she's with. Nope, she's all mine. I don't. Want, I'd <laughs> rather her be sad than leave me. You'd rather her be miserable <laughs> as long as you had possession over her. Yes, that's the most important part of marriage. Well, this is why you don't. You haven't understood this episode. <laughs> Maybe I'm just I'm an just unfeeling, <laughs> soulless misogynist. <laughs> I'm gonna. That's gonna be the quote for our show. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i i it was good i thought it was well done i just felt like the end the reveal kind of deflated the whole episode for me um but have you you're not understanding what i'm saying though i i no, like, i completely understand the fact that there's a simulation doesn't like lose any of it because to them everyone in that world thinks they're in a real world yeah and like it's but not like it's what me. happened in that episode didn't have a consequence it definitely did have a consequence it all contributed to something in real life so for me them being in a simulation just adds to the to the to the beauty of you know kinship and finding finding the one yeah uh and because I, you couldn't do if it was a real world you couldn't do the whole thousand time simulation thing yeah and also you couldn't do the whole idea of like the person that you love is someone that you'll run away with or someone that you'll like literally put yourself in harm's way to be with that person um and those are two things that i think are completely unique to the whole simulation idea and concept mm -hmm. yeah I, okay but i don't love i don't think it's perfect it's got problems yeah the the main problem for me is just the line where he's like, what if we're in a simulation? And it's like, why did they put that in? Like, it's so on the nose. He literally says like, oh, we might be in a simulation. I don't remember that. At one point. Yeah, it's when they're like, it's after their first like night together. Huh. And they're like standing amongst the pillars. That's pretty like, obnoxious. Oh, what if we're in a simulation? It's That's one like, of those. The second like... he said that, I was like, oh, they're in a dating app. So I was kind of like, it kind of ruined the end, made it not a surprise. So you saw the end coming. Yeah. So I wonder, I wonder how much. As soon much, as he said that line, I was just like, oh, that's what's going to happen. I wonder how much that influenced you liking it versus me not liking it. Because if you, if you saw that coming and you were seeing stuff like, oh, this is a simulation, it would, I think, be more enjoyable. But that's for, why you should rewatch it. I don't know. I, well, I, I have a hard time rewatching anything, but give it a chance. The for me, I was so invested in their story that I was like, oh, I want to know. You know, like I'm rooting for them, this version of them in this world, and then for everything to be taken away, and for it just to influence them talking to each other in a bar, like. 
But I, I the get way that I it's see it is that, like, but... if you have that percentage with someone in a bar, um, then then it would it would mean that you would definitely like connect with that person. But like, obviously, but, they don't really say if it's just more of a casual app where like you can get <laughs> you can get that kind of percentage with anyone. But I don't think that's what it, that's what it would do because the idea of us seeing like a, such a pure and like interesting and like great relationship for an hour is that like those people are definitely going to have that relationship again and that's why they don't show anything after that because we've seen everything that's about to happen yeah i just i don't know i think knowing that you're supposed to be perfect for each other would be a conflict in itself that would have been an interesting thing to explore because maybe it's almost like an arranged marriage in a way like you guys are perfect for each other. You're gonna get along great. Everything. But that, that's a thought process you have when you when you do first start dating someone because you're like you really fancy them and you're like oh they do this it's amazing like that's perfect for me. That's exactly like me. Like the, you're, this this person is just like perfect for me. And they're exactly like great and you just have that excitement and that like fulfillment. I know, you but know. like when people tell you like this is the best movie you you will ever see, you have to see it. And then you go and see it with your expectations so high, it's almost impossible for it to meet that. And I feel like that's what would happen in that relationship to where you're like a 99.8. Well, like obviously we're going to be perfect. And then you real life happens and it would just, it would start to crumble. But then in, in that life as well, like would you ever date anyone who wasn't 99.8? Or would you only exclusively date people that you were perfectly matched with? See, all that, that's even, I think, a more interesting thing to explore, too. Because well, then, I don't know if it's more interesting, but it's definitely interesting. <laughs> you can't just but give like, me we any, can, <laughs> anything. The, I but think we, it, wouldn't, uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be talking about it if we hadn't seen an hour of that explored already. Um, potentially. I think, just, I think you could tell the simulation story pretty quick. I think you could get it no, all. because you can't you can't show how perfect they are together without showing like all the ups and downs that that episode achieved in doing. And if you try and make it half as fast, you're just messing with the pacing, and it just won't be as good. Um, but yeah, so that's a problem. That that line about the simulation like bothered yeah. me. If it was just the skipping stones thing, like oh, it only skips four times, then like that would have been fine. Yeah, but. But like, it's the fact that he legitly says like, oh, it's a simulation. And then the second thing is when, um, when the guards come out with the tasers and she like instinctively knows to touch the taser and that she'll be fine. And then everyone freezes. Yeah. And it's kind of just like this. I don't know. Maybe it's because of that simulation line. But the second that happened, I was like, oh, okay. So they're in a simulation. Cool. It's a dating app. Cool. But then it was just an additional minute of like, me supposedly feeling tense but like i was just like i already know exactly what's going to happen yeah so i i wish that they had just done like some sort of strange chase or something instead of them all freezing like that because that kind of like made it absolutely clear that it was a simulation and then one minute later they were like acting as if it was supposed to be a huge reveal that it was a simulation well i was also confused by the pairing day they both had pairing days the next day, which made me feel like they were being paired together. Well, the idea is that pairing day doesn't exist. Basically, the way that the, the app would work... Is, is everyone puts, escapes? Yes. Hmm. Um, I, see, that, I, that, I like that even less. No, that, the, yeah, that's the idea. That's the only way that you can get out of the simulation is by climbing out of it with that person because they tell you from the very beginning, oh, if you try and leave, like, you will be, you, you will be, like, deserted. Mm. So that's the stakes. And if you're willing to risk that and you're willing to take that on board as long as you can be with someone, then that is, that, that is, like, love. And that is, like, pure love. And that's what it's saying, basically. Yeah. Is that like, if you're willing to like climb out and escape with someone being completely ostracized by the place that you are in and like potentially like being killed 
for that just to be with that one person that that's what it is and that's how the simulation discovered like fig ends you yeah. have to do that for the simulation to end so them saying our oh, pairing day is tomorrow is just as a way of them being nudged into being forced to run away basically if mm-hmm. they want to see i thought they were going to be paired together and so it felt, it made the escape feel like it was kind of pointless because if they would have just waited one extra day, they would have been paired together, which would have Well, ended. no, cause she, cause she, she said, she said, um, will it, will it be someone that I've met before? And it went, no. So oh, she knew you? she wouldn't be paired okay. with him. I must have missed that. Yeah. You should be paying attention to it more. I Alan. guess it's just so boring. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So that episode's great. Um, it's not that good. Oh, name an episode better than it that isn't 15 million merits or white Christmas. Um, entire history of use pretty good. Yeah, but it's not as good as that one. It's better. It's all right. We can disagree. Entire history of you is better. I think so. I liked it better. I think there's a few Black Mirror episodes that I like better than this one. I just can't recall which ones. Um, for like, it really, the ending really deflated my emotion for this episode. You've got to rewatch it. And Maybe. I reckon you you, you'll say different things. We'll see. Your, I, your mouth will be moving in different words will be coming <laughs> out. I don't know. I can be pretty stubborn. Yeah. You should stop being so stubborn, <laughs> but it's okay. We can disagree. You can love um, this episode. And then after that is metalhead. I hated which... metalhead. I'm going to defend Metalhead. <laughs> wow, that was great conversation. It's too bad we disagreed about everything the whole time. Uh, can you tell yeah. me about your YouTube channel? Uh, it's called Nitpicks. Um, check out my review on Bright with Will Smith in. You can follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod.